What's up guys and welcome to uh, my Syndra guide. Uh, Syndra is one of those champions that I've played um, hundreds of times. You know, I know this champion backwards. This is my main, main champion. Used to be Ziggs, but now it's Syndra. And um, I have a feeling that this guide will be more successful than any of my others because I really know the in and outs of this champion and I can tell you guys how to play are really good. So, number one, the spells that you're going to use, Flash and Ignite. You can't escape that. I used to use Barrier to be safer in lane, but with Syndra, she has a very kind of lax style where you can just sit back and farm or you can be hyper aggressive, and that's when I really like to use Ignite. Now, Yasuo has the upper hand on me early, but we'll see how that turns out. Now, for Masteries, um, this is kind of where I mix it up a little bit. Um, I like to go 21 offense, 9 utility, no, no defense. I don't plan on getting caught as Syndra, you shouldn't either. So that works perfectly. Now, unless you're going against an AD lane, most mid laners will be AP. So I like to have scaling health and then glyphs of scaling ability power or MR. Depends on what I feel like doing that day. Um, three quints of AP and obviously magic penetration. Um, you know, just for that extra bit of health, because you're not going to need the armor, you're going to build Zonias anyway, and unless there's an 80 mid laner like Zed, there's no reason to have armor. So, this is what, um, some popular mid laners use, like, uh, High from Cloud9, they max Q and then they max W, only picking up E. I don't like that, I like to max Q, and then I like to max E, because you can have your stun every 6, um, seconds, and even if you get caught out, stun right away. Otherwise, it's a 15 second wait every time, which I really dislike. Now, I'm kind of in a bad position here because I'm like, okay, I have no mana, so I can't just use the stun. And then it comes up, and I go in, and I'm like, I'm dead. No, I'm not. That, it, dude, I had 10 health. I was shaking. I was like, oh my god. Because I didn't have enough mana. I had to wait there just killing minions until I could. So, pretty much with Syndra. The way I play her is to just be hyper aggressive in lane. They can't do anything once you hit level 6. You have all the pressure, and assuming you've played Syndra quite a bit, you'll have the knowledge to know how to deal with them. Now, see, I wasn't getting close to Yasuo there because he did have a shield up, and I kind of messed up my combo, but it's fine in the end because I can just go here, bam, Q, and he's dead. Um, because when Yasuo has that uh, his passive up, just step back as far away as you can until it wears off. That's the only way to deal with it. And number two, don't get cocky. Let your jungler help you. See I here, I'm baiting him. Bam, we could just go in on him. He's dead in two seconds, and we get his flash. Which, that was probably the worst flash I've ever seen in my life, by the way. That was just bad. Um, but all in all, the most important thing a mid laner can do, in my opinion, is number one, win your lane, obviously. But number two, go down bot and help your AD carry just snowball. Top, kind of, if you get the opportunity, but focus on that, on the bot lane. So bam, I land the perfect stun, and oh, that sounded so fucking cocky. Um, and so I can instantly just W, bam, Draven's dead. I Q here, just in case Thresh is getting away, but Twitch is poison, kills him off in the end. Anyway, bam, just like that, Twitch got a kill and an assist, and I got a kill. This game is starting to look like it's going to be over at this point. So here we go again, Yasuo's mid, what did I say earlier, when he has that, just step back. I mean, you can't really do anything, but at this point, I can insta-burst, but he blocks it with his wind wall, which is really no problem. He flashes away, I flash Q, blind, kill him. Um, that was stupid of me, I shouldn't have really done that, that's kind of risky, but if you think you can pull it off, go for it. And pretty much we just get the double kill there. So this game is scaling out of control at this point, they know they lost, we know that we won, and now we're just getting kind of cocky. We're running around the map farming, getting to late game, which you should never do. Just finish it. Just rush it. But, I mean, hey, whatever. So, bam. I get the stun onto Thresh. W. Hit the DFG. R. Dodge the, um, what's that thing called? I, I play Thresh all the time. The dark, what is that thing called, dude? Not the dark passage. The other one. I don't know. I, the hook. Yeah, right. Oh, God. <laughs> this video is going off the chain. I should edit that out, but knowing me, I probably won't. Death sentence. That's what it's called. So at this point, we're like, okay, dude. We can just do our final push here. I'm like, okay, let me go back. I still don't even have a Rabidons at this point. I just focused on... Yeah, If you guys noticed at the start, I was building three different items, which I really don't suggest you do, but, I mean, this Yasuo was so far behind. I was just kind of messing around a little bit. So pretty much here... 
the game's already over. I just finished on Bursting Mundo. Um, that's another thing you shouldn't do. I should have just bursted Draven right away, but like I said, they were so far behind. Um, it was just devastating at this point. So anyway, guys, if you like this guide, go ahead and play Cinder. I think she's free to play this week. Um, she kind of takes some getting used to mid lane, but if you get used to her, she's the best mid in the game. And I hope you guys enjoy her. Peace.